This video is sponsored by Wahid Invest. It is for those looking for investments in line with Islamic principles. They're official, legit, and worth looking into. Do educate yourselves to the pros and cons of investing. Link in the bio. That's a gen, yeah. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. So, last couple of weeks we've been seeing the LGBT phenomena being pushed very heavily in the news. In fact, I covered it in my last upload. In fact, I took a little clip out of that, put it on Twitter. Lo and behold, German Twitter tells me there have been complaints about your post. And all I have to say to the German people is this. Last me Shalina. Chill out. All I did was post three questions to the community, which I haven't really received anything concrete on. But anyway, today we're going to be discussing cross-dressing. Yeah, this is something that's a favorite of Hollywood. In fact, we've seen Pharrell Williams here on GQ magazine flaunting a dress. And we've seen Harry Styles, who used to be a member of One Direction. This is one of his dresses and there's been numerous other occasions in which he has adorned himself with a dress. But now they have moved on to our impressionable children. Yes, in a bid to confuse them. Let's have a look. This week we saw a John Lewis advert. Yeah, John Lewis is a famous retail store in the UK. Also, they own weight rows and they showed an advert of a little boy wearing girls clothes, running around with lipstick on and throwing glitter everywhere. Here we see two parents who are bringing a lawsuit to the government. A couple on the Isle of Wight are suing the government over transgender guidelines given to their school. We also had a very similar situation with our six year old and a boy would come sometimes dressed as a boy and sometimes dressed as a girl. He just came home and said, I'm really confused. Can boys become girls? Can girls become boys? The head teacher, when we said, this is crazy, why are you just allowing this child one day to wear a boy's uniform and then the next the girls and choosing from day to day? And she said, I, I have no choice. I just have to accept it. If I don't, I could lose my job. And of course, we saw this week some parents in Tower Hamlets were protesting how the SRE was being taught to their young ones. Some might say, so what? Who cares? There's bigger things to, to take care of and all this sort of stuff. Frankly, relax yourself. Have a glass of milk yeah, and just take it easy. Because if you're not going to look after your kids, I mean, who's going to take over from you, mate? It's your kids. So let's start off with, of course, what does Islam say about this? Yeah, well, we know that the Prophet, peace be upon him, has strictly forbidden cross dressing in the harshest words, if I may add. And this is narrated in Bukhari and in Abu Dawood. And of course, as Muslims, as believers, we take our morality our concept of right and wrong from the most high. Why? Because it's reliable and it's stable. As opposed to people that don't believe in a God, they take their morality from liberalism. And we all know how liberalism started, yeah? Just need to read a bit of Jeremy Bentham to realize the whole thing is, is reliant upon the scale of pleasure and pain. As long as pleasure outweighs pain, good. If pain starts getting more, bad. Now let's analyze some general issues that we may have with all this. Yeah, the first thing is it can lead to absurdities. Yeah, it literally opens the floodgates to any and everything possible if you start denying and rejecting biology. Yeah, because hey, you're talking about cross gender. What if the person says I'm cross age? Yes, I identify, your six year old kid identifies now as a 25 year old man. Are you going to let him drink alcohol and smoke cigarettes? Or if they say I'm cross species, yes, I love pigs, so I identify now as a pig. Are you going to let him eat his own stool, squeal and live in a farm all day and ultimately end up on someone's plate? Number two. Philosophically, this is against the concept of truth, especially if we look at the correspondence theory of truth, as the biology of the child clearly contradicts what they're wearing. Number three, it can lead to the child becoming confused, especially if the child doesn't understand that gender roles are based upon one's biology, physical appearance or clothing. 
yeah, this child is going to be completely messed up and confusing the mind of a child is morally wrong. Number four, it's based upon deception. A person looks one way, but they identify as something completely different. It's like a police officer, yeah? You see somebody dressed like a police officer outside, you go to them, there's a crime happening, officer, help me mate. And he's like, excuse me, I identify as a lamppost. How dare you ask me to solve your crime mate? Oh sorry, I thought just because the way you look, uh, excuse me, we won't be dealing with that level of prejudice here mate. And imagine if a girl goes to the boys toilets and you know it's going to be difficult for her to use those urinals, you know the ones in the wall and imagine if she starts making a mess. I mean of course that child's going to get in trouble but at that moment the child's identifying as a boy for some reason. Yeah and if gender is becoming a farce now yeah because gender and sex are being used as as one term here then I mean a school can technically have all boys in it but half of those boys identify as girls. So does that now mean that that school is being fair, you know, equal opportunities and of course vice versa. Some of you might still be saying, leave them alone mate, they're just kids, yeah, they figure it out. Wait, no, 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 hang on a minute. When we were young, yeah, some of us had imaginary friends. Yes, yes and yes and no, yes. <laughs> if the school starts validating that, our home starts validating that, the media starts val validating that, bro, that's gonna mess the child up, yeah? they're going to start questioning what's reality and what's not reality. Am I the imaginary friend? Maybe he's real. When I was young I wanted to be an ice cream man, you know what I'm saying? Now if everybody started saying good on you mate, yeah, be, be that ice cream. No, I wanted people to tell me, look it's not necessarily feasible. I mean you can enjoy the ice creams but look how you're going to survive financially. What if something happens to your van? It's too risky. So guys, all I can say is look after your kids, yeah, because Kids are very impressionable, they copy anything and everything that they see especially at a young age and that's why I will say don't leave them alone to watch the television especially with adverts like John Lewis you know on the screen. Imagine a child sees that, oh they, they mirror, think about it. Why are adverts geared towards our children? Because the children look at other kids playing with those new toys and they're like I want to be like that kid, happy, it's all sunny days with this family and look how happy he is, I want to be like that. Yeah, what if they look at this advert and be like, yeah I want to be like that. It's just adding unnecessary questions in the mind of the child which biology tells us, our faith tells us and let's face it, our logic and reasoning also tells us. Let's leave it there guys, until next time. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum.